it's been a minute, but we're here, it is go time. We've got a bit of a fun episode today, a bit of working in the driveway, just like old times. We've got some Beam Speed Shop RCAs to put in my car. There's some other stuff going on with my car that needs some sort of maintenance and some stories to tell in regards to why I need to do a bit more work on it. And i got a track day coming up, um, which should be a blast. Going to be at Winton again in like a month's time, so got to get the car ready for that, which is very exciting. And Matt's here, he's behind the camera. <laughs> Hi. Um, so yeah, we're going to do some work on the car and just hang out and have a good time. Alright, so Beam is a little company run by our good friends here in Melbourne, Adam and Ben. They've just started up and they're kind of like a performance version of what we do. So we've got some 40 mil RCAs. Um, Dylan's car currently has 30 mil, but it's probably a little bit low for that. So we're going to swap them out with these fresh ones today and you'll see how nice they are. These nice little machined pieces, got the logo laser etched in there. Looks beautiful. Mm. Just like a mama used to make. If you don't know, Beam is the company whose owner, one of their owners has that cream K70 and the cream A70 hardtop, which we always take photos of pretty much constantly. Yeah, because it's beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> Cannot wait to drive Winton again. I didn't ask you to say anything. I wanted to say it. Um, driving Rayleigh was awesome and like bucket list track but it was wet and I was so far from home that it like kind of offset the fun with a bit of anxiety but now going back to Winton having a bit more experience under my belt I'm just so excited to just bah, you know what I'm saying like bah, bah. This is what your suspension looks like when you drive a wet track at Rayleigh Raceway. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's like the muddiest course in existence at Rayleigh. Like it just gets covered in like clay, mud and crap. I literally have not washed this car, I think since Winton, which was also, I did a lot of runs in the wet. So it's, um, it's seen some shit. And I drove it to South Australia and back to Port Elliot. And all this time it hasn't had a wash. Poor, poor little thing. <laughs> Don't be like Dylan, please. <laughs> So yep. you can see this faint blue colour here, and that is Dylan's current RCA. Yeah. Um, they're actually Cusco, which is quite sick. Mm. But um, you can see that they're definitely a lot smaller. So like basically when you lower the car, you're lifting this whole setup up, like the lower control arm, everything goes up, um, which like makes your uh, suspension geometry like incorrect from the factory. It's so supposed to go. It's meant to go down, like kind of like that and then it brings it up and you don't you kind of don't want them flat you want them a little bit lower than flat and if they're coming up like the lower control arms are coming up then you really don't want that so this adjusts what's called the roll center yeah so basically it corrects like where the car sits unloaded so that you know you can get full range of motion and it doesn't start binding or it doesn't start uh, steering under under load because yeah that's what um bump steer is so you get more bump steer when your roll centers off and yeah we can get some better performance out of my setup by going with a bigger rca because my car's quite low um i know it's not you know low enough for most people on the internet but it's low enough for me it looks lower in real life it genuinely does i'm not a smart man and i've got two <laughs> two sockets stuck on there it's been a while okay break all right business we are in it ah. the question is will this be seized onto this because I've never actually taken this I bought these steering arms with the roll center adjusters on them and I never took them off so it's time to get a BFH it may be easy to tell that this is the fiery side um, you can see all the paint here is kind of like cracking off and this is mainly why Dylan is worried that it's seized on there because this has seen some some serious heat. Yeah, it's on there. We got it. 
So here we have old and new. You can see there's a difference in height. Usually most are like 30 or 35 mil. The beam ones are 40. I think it's a good length to have. This car still gets a little bit of bump steer. It's pretty good, but the 40 mil will definitely help because the car is about 80 mil lower than it was stock. So Is that all? Yeah. These, it's so funny seeing these stock. I'm going to put in a photo right here. Of a They're stock actually one. like four wheel drives. Like people don't realize that even ones that kind of look lame yeah. have been lowered like two inches. Yeah. I used to literally be able to just drive it over traffic islands, just like, I was like, oh, we four be in now. It's cool to put like, just one nice part of my car. Done. There you go. What's sick about it as well is a lot of Corolla stuff comes from overseas. Like we don't have that much of a local market anymore. Um, so to have local guys making parts is just really good for us. And a lot of Australia, because we have like one of the biggest K70 enthusiast cultures in the world, I'd say. Um, aside from Malaysia and Indonesia. Hello Malaysia and Indonesia. Got it. Nice. That's the first time this RCA has come off this steering arm since I had these. And I bought them for my white car about four years ago. It was a thing. long time ago. I've been in the game too long. Wheels are going back on. Oh. I should probably get an alignment after this, but I don't intend to. Um, scratch that, Dylan. Please, once you buy Beam RCAs for a reasonable price via the link in the description, uh, get an alignment. Public service announcement. So recently I picked up one of these. It's called a twin lens reflex camera. Um, so you kind of view through this lens, shoot through this one. But more importantly, it's medium format, which is something that neither Dylan and I have delved into previously. So I'm gonna put my first official roll in it. Uh, we've done a test roll, so we know it exposes correctly. All the shots were totally sh <laughs> But we're going to shoot a few with this. Alright, one it to the first shot. I don't have one of those cool ones with like the, yeah, the big yeah. handles on it. And it doesn't make like the cool ratchet noise. But uh, here we go. Um, and also because it does have a light meter, but I don't trust it. Um, so I'm just gonna use a light meter on my phone, which hasn't let me down previously. So um, I'll probably just overexpose by stop and yeah, see how it goes. So one of 10. <laughs> All right, so last thing I'm gonna do today, I'm gonna bleed the clutch in this car because it feels like crap. I'm not really too sure why. All right, so the pedal was like really floppy. Obviously like has a bit of play at the top there anyway, but it was like really bad before. So now it actually feels like clutch. I adjusted the rod in a bit. I think the master still might be a bit cooked because there's a bit of fluid on this side, which definitely shouldn't be doing. That means it's getting past the cylinder. But at least this is a band-aid on it for the moment. This is what happens when you uh, don't wash your car for many moons and also go off track a lot in the wet. My engine bay is like next level disgusting. And if you watched the channel, you would have seen this was actually a very nice engine bay, but uh, no longer. It's the smoking gun right here. This disgusting catch can. <laughs>
Did I try shoot this like my Yashika? You know it. Dude, that's money. To close it out, I'm gonna put my another beam sticker on my rear quarter here to match the other side. I was alluding earlier to some drama, and that is that the car is once again defected. I had some very kind police tell me that my car is too low, so it's going to have to get taken back to a pretty boring look for a little bit, and I'll have to have the stock seats put back in and a couple other things, but it's not, not too bad of one, so the car looks cool today, but in a couple days time it'll look pretty lame, but then I'll be prepping it again to go racing, so I'll certainly film some of that and try and fix this crappy brake pedal and uh, other than that the car's going great a little bit more to come on this one before it goes to the track but for today thanks to Adam and Ben for gifting us that pair of RCAs they're gonna be heaps good in my car being that it is very low and it will become very low again I promise if you do want to check out beam stuff we will have a link in the description to the RCAs and their website they're based in Melbourne and they're producing some pretty cool stuff, some cool race car parts specifically for Corollas, which is great. We all love that. Check them out, they're great dudes. And thanks heaps.